Hello and welcome to episode 54 of On the Dawn Trail. This is my live Final Fantasy XIV MSQ guide and playthrough. We're going through Shadowbringers and we finally made it to Amarang. So, Thancred, what are we doing? Free trade. I take it you're seeing what I'm seeing. Finding a village where we're, when, when, when we're hardly ten paces into the hills is, is a surprising stroke of luck. Especially given our recent fortunes, but you won't hear any complaints from me. Let's see if the folk who live here can tell us what to expect about the road from the road ahead. Holy moly. Mm. I need to warm up my uh my voice chops. Holy schmucks. You know, going into this uh what do you call it? Cold turkey is probably not the best idea. Leave me alone, you stupid lizard, bro. Come on, man. And I'm slow again. Oh no, it's crumb. Alright, so we found ourselves a village. Let's see what all the hub loves about. Zoom zoom. Oh, cutscene. Uh oh. Sad cutscene. <laughs> you sell? No, no, you are no merchant. But then, why do I know your face? Hmm. Oh, I remember you spent Vobert gold. <laughs> Such a coin purse cracking. You are already a legend among more traders. You are a traveling merchant, then. Can you tell us anything of this village? Oh. Of course, anything for valued customers. This place is Garrick. Before the flood, it was home to many miners. After, not so many. Now, none. So Master Gengen borrowed the village, made it into a trading post. Very convenient location. In which case, you must all be familiar with the local roads, correct? We're on our way to Nabatharang ourselves. If we continue south from here, will, will we have any difficulties reaching it? Oh yes, great difficulty. The flood rent the the flood rent the stone and crushed the mine surrounding Nabatharang. Only steep cliffs and collapsed tunnels remain. Oh no. But surely there must be some way. Do you think of any other moor might have some sort of hidden route? Perhaps you ask, they tell. Tell for free, even, to friends of our best customer. Right. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. Well then, best customer. Let's see what information your reputation buys us. As you can tell, I'm uh, just getting over a cold as well, so... Jumping into the stream, cold turkey. Just getting over a cold. Ooh. The voice acting is going to be rough in this one, and I apologize. Gong, gong. For an Abatharang, airship is best. Nothing is faster than an airship. The, um, the Yulmorans have one, I hear. You can ask them to take you. Though it seems somewhat superfluous to do so, you dutifully make note of Gong Gong's words. Yes. Definitely ain't going to be asking no Yulmorans for nothing. Are they inside the houses? Who you? Real, real. You wish to go to Abba the Bathering, hmm? There was a way once, a gondola down from the cliffs, but it was built for those who had left something behind that they wished to retrieve. Now there is nothing left, and no one to use it. You may search for it if you like, but I doubt that its rusted wires would bear your weight. You hastily take down a memo regarding the gondola and a spare scrap of parchment. That's not a bad idea. I'm sure we can use a gondola. Inside here? Hello? Su Su! Oh, that's a surprise. Not many bound from in the Bath Orang these days. I do know of a trolley that once went there. It used to travel between all the settlements and mines of the Hills of Amber. Excuse me. It is locked behind a gate, however. I assume that will have I assume that will have kept it from being stolen or damaged, but it also prevents it from being being of much use. Oh my goodness. You take down information regarding the trolley on a wrinkled piece of parchment before stuffing it unceremoniously back into your bag. Oh. <laughs> Apparently I'm a slob. Alright, thank you, we got options. Ah, Furious. I'm afraid I've learned little abuse about the how to reach about the rang. The Yomoran presence, though, that's another matter. Apparently, though their army is definitely an Amarang, there have been no sightings of Yomorans at all in the Hills of Amber. Perhaps we can take that as a sign that Adizé's plan is born fruit. Did you have any better luck finding us a route forward? I did. Take all these things. <clears throat> hey, you all, my good friend. So these are our options. 
Well, what do you think? If you try the gondola, I might die, but I <laughs> can get an airship anywhere. Not from Bothry, obviously. Gate the other side of the trolley seems most feasible. Gondola, baby! I'd rather not. It was all the same to you. If it went poorly, we couldn't simply wave our hands and vanish into the aether like Stola. Not that I would recommend it, but if we could. Alright, let's do the trolley. It does seem to be the least risky of our options, and I can't imagine one gate is enough to thwart you. I'd like to know a bit more before we dash off in search of it, though. Perhaps Zoom Zoom can offer some insight. Alright, Zoom Zoom. Senor Zoom Zoom. The trolley problem. Oh boy. Not to get deep into morals. Oh, valued customers. We're the other mord of help. Of a fashion. They told us of a trolley that runs into Batharang, at least. But am I correct in thinking that there was a reason you did not do so yourself when we first asked? Mm, yes. The gate, you see. It is impassable. Before, there was a hulking thing of stone, a Talos. It opened the gate, they say. But none operate such a thing now. We do not even know if it yet exists. Oh, boy. I do not know, but you should travel east to Mount Bright Beer and Mines. That is where the trolley con controls stand. I still see miners there from time to time. If anyone knows what happened to the Talos... It would be them! Thank you! You've been of a great help. So long. We're off to Mount Biran then. Let's hope that someone will be there to answer our questions. Mount Biran! See ya. Little buddy. Thanks for the info there. Alright. Where the heck is this Mount Biran? Okay, gotta go a little bit south. I should probably make sure I'm not missing any of these ether currents. Nope. So let me go south, which is exactly where I need to go. How convenient. Boy, it is gonna suck when I get to Endwalker and actually have to search for these ether currents again. Daijoku. It's not to mention Dawn Trail. Oh, buddy. Uh, okay. I think the further south. Taking a pit stop here, looking at the iguanas. All right, thank you. Thank you, doing. <clears throat> the scale of the track is impressive. I give them that. Now we only need to follow it until we come to the mines. Oh, excellent. <laughs> follow this track. Don't you dare attack me, you stupid iguana! Oh, nanny. It's a bit of a nanny over here. Straight to the south. Okay. Ovin Billy. Billy goats and nannies. Um. There you go. Southwest. Yeah. So it's probably ether currents probably at this settlement here. Twine. Therefore, I don't need to worry about it. Mount Biran Mines. Bit of a desolate place in it. And I got some lag. Lovely. I see Taluses. Oh, never mind. What? That is not a gnome, bro. There's a coyote. Hey, where's everyone else? Hey, Thancred. Bit of a mess, isn't it? But the mechanisms for dispatching the trolley are here, just as Zoom Zoom said. Unfortunately, anyone who might know how to use them is not. We might wait for Zoom Zoom's mysterious miners to appear, or have a look around and see if we can deduce anything useful in their absence. I'm in favor of the latter. Something near the entrance of the mines proper caught Yuran Jay's eye. Meet us there if you find anything. Indeed. Let's go see what I can find. Those are indeed iron rails. Hmm. Upon closer inspection, flecks of rust adorn the rails, but they nevertheless appear sturdy enough to bear the trolley without issue. That's good. Good working order. We like to see. Uh, will we inside that? Yeah, what the heck? Inside this here building? Anybody home? Conspicuous cup, eh? Someone's been living here! The cup is slightly warm, and a fair amount of tea, steeped over long, if the color's any indication, remains within. Someone was here. We're not alone. 
then probably up there. Unless, let's see, more than likely up here. Yeah. Hello? What the? Bamboozled. Oh. Yoink. Hmm. Suitable trolley car. No, no! No! <laughs> Dang it! Hello there, Andrew. Nice to have you in here. You can tell I'm uh, just talking to myself, so... Having someone to chat with would be nice. Got him. Okay, cool. Trolley car. The benches within suggest that this might must have been a passenger car. Oddly enough, though it is clearly old, it appears to be well maintained. Someone's doing a good job uh, keeping the upkeep in this place. Oh jeez. Please, please don't attack me. Leave me alone. Good. Hurry on, Jay. My good man. Ah, Furious. What hast thou discerned? What hast thou discerned? Boop, boop. I see. Indeed, thine ob observations are consistent with mine own. But let us refrain from further discussions ere our comrades arrive. My congestion is not going to do well for this voice acting here. Ample evidence of recent ma maintenance and lukewarm tea besides. The levers for switching tracks look like they were in good condition, though I couldn't move them myself. No ordinary person could, I think. It is my belief that no person is meant to. This Talos beareth more than a passing resemblance to golems of the source. Nor doth it appear to be the sole example of its kind. The proliferation of Talos fragments, as well as the enormity of the mechanisms here, suggest a considerable number were once in operation. Alas, this specimen and its fellows now lie lifeless and broken, and, and I know not how to repair them that they might facilitate our passage through the gate. And without the aid of the Talos, even if thou wert somehow able to unbar the trolley's path, we would still have no means of propelling it. We might not know how to repair the Talos, but someone must. Otherwise, why keep everything else in here in working order? Whoever is maintaining the cars and rails must know something that we don't. Hmm. Let's ask them what it is, shall we? <laughs> Furious, I do believe you'll find a person of some interest skulking in the shadows behind the warehouses on the northwestern side of the tracks. While you two were having a friendly chat, the rest of us will gently encourage those to the south to come out of hiding. Defend ourselves is necessary, of course, but do try to keep everyone in one piece. Off we go then. Ah, boy. <clears throat> We got some skulkers, don't we? Yeah, leave me alone. Okay. Who's trying to spy on me, huh? How dare you? What the heck are you? Are you in here? Nope. Behind. Suspicious man. You are suspicious. Wicked White! Where did you come from? No, never mind that. You have no business here of that, I'm sure. Oh, you made a big mistake, kiddo. I'm about to wreck you. <laughs> Done. Uh, what are you? Beat up some random dude. Hopefully, uh, my friends had better luck with this whole shakedown business. Where art thou? Eh? Uh, well muscled man and fresh faced man, eh? Cutscene, even. Good to hear. These two weren't much trouble either. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. 
Us? We're not the brigands come to... To take what isn't ours? Eh? Do we honestly look like we need to steal? What? Some rusted bits of iron? Don't be absurd. We're not here to rob you. A likely story. You look... well... You don't look normal, that's for certain. You don't have any wares, so you're clearly not merchants. Travelers never pass this way. The only reason you would come all the way out here is to strip the machinery for parts. Oh, Thaf. I have an idea. What if, once upon a time, a lovely lady of noble birth ventured forth in search of her lost love, joined by her two most loyal servants, sworn to follow unto her unto, wor unto world's end, on their journey, they met a sorcerer, as ancient as time itself. Moved by the lady's devotion, he offered to be their guide, and they... Turned up here, somehow. I can only assume that you're being intentionally obtuse. But in the unlikely event that that's a serious conjecture, no. I suppose I am a bodyguard of sort, but we have rather large concerns in fairy tale romances. Eh? What the heck is going on here? Though I would fain hear more of this ageless sorcerer and his heroic deeds. Gods grant me strength, right? Um, if I may, we're actually searching for a means by which to travel to Namatharang. We were hoping that the trolley here might offer a solution. I realize that we haven't gone off on the best of starts, but if you know anything about how we might get it working again... The trolley? The trolley? You should have led with that! We're always keen to discuss the trolley. We're both engineers in training, in fact. Jerick and Thaf at your service. Technically, I'm a miner, and he does repair work. But our true passion is the trolley. We're working with a few other folks to get it up and running again. And before you ask, yes, it's true. And there's little in need... That there's little in need of transport these days. But that's no reason to consign a miracle of mechanical innovation to dust. The mere sight of it traveling a track once again would make hearts sore, mark my words. You'll hear no argument from us. What progress have you made thus far? Not as much as we'd like, truth be told. Well, if there's anything we could assist- Is there anything we could do to assist you? We could gather materials or help put pieces together. It's a sight more complicated than that, I'm afraid. If you spoke with Magnus, you'd understand. He's the only one with full knowledge of the trolley's operation. I suppose you could speak with him if you like. We'll introduce you. Okay. Very well. Options are limited. If this Magnus can explain whatever is presenting the tr preventing the trolley from being restored, I'd like to hear it. Mm hmm. Right. Looks like they'll be following us back to Twine then. Okay. This definitely took a weird turn of events. But I got some stuff! Invent- oop, not that one. Inventory! Ooh, I got lots of stuff. I've not been opening my coffers. Silly me. Hello? Oh. Use. And... Use. Use. It's like, yeah. Good. Let's see. Do I look super cool? I mean, it's not the best, but... It's- it's aight, it's aight. Alright, Thaf. Lead me to Twine. Rust and Ruin. If you're ready, we can leave right now. Though, you haven't seen another fellow around here, have you? Plenty have come out by now. Uh oh, it's one I beat up. Sorry. You think he'll be alright? Not sir. Well, I suppose we did force your hand a bit. I'll have a look, just in case. You go on ahead, Thaf. Alright. Looks like it'll just be you lot and me, then. Try not to let anything take a bite out of you on the way out of the rail yard. Yep, I totally beat that dude up. I apologize. What he gets for sneaking up on me. Nobody gets the drop on me. You hear? Alright, let's see. Still way to the southwest, the ether current is, so we're fine. We're chilling. Goldenrod. Oh. Uh, hello? Oh. Hey, where's my friends? 
Damn, that's smart. Did you have to thump me so hard? I'll be feeling that for the next fortnight at least. Not to be done about not to be done about it now, though. I pointed your overeager companions in the right direction and then got on ahead, so we need to get moving. Normally, we walk atop the tracks, seeing as a young lady has a much shorter stride, that's more perilous a route than I'm comfortable suggesting. Wouldn't want anyone falling through the gaps. Of course, the low road presents other dangers. Having been on the receiving end of your friend's blows, I'm not worried on that account. Fine. Oh no! Okay, we're good. Billy go. Let's see. Uh, let's go this way. Ding, 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 ding. I made it. Wait a moment. I think I hear something. Oh, that's something, all right. Run! Bruh, it's just a coyote, my guy. Relax. We beat these things up in our sleep, yo. Yep, all right, let's go. Okay, now, make sure we're... Okay, southwest. That's exactly where I need to go. Okay, yep, and then straight to the west, which is directly where Twine is, is where my ether current is. Perfect. Oh, Thaf, what did you get yourself into? You're welcome, bud. Take care of these birds here for you. All right, buddy. You feeling safe? Oh, sorry about that. I'll admit, I didn't expect this route to be quite so fraught with danger. We're nearly to Twine, though, so you should make it without further incident. This guy's a magnet for trouble, huh? Alright, okay. Eye on the lookout for an ether current. It should be right around here. Northeast, night, right around here. Where to. Oh, that's up there? Dang it. Okay. Gotta go on the tracks. It's imperative. How many do I need to find? Where am I? I'm in Amarang. I need to find two more, so that's one. And then one last one. And three blue quests. Blech. Gross. Just touch this bad boy real quick. Touch. Alright. Onward. Let's go attune to the etherites before continuing on. And then we're seeing its way to the south, this last one. Yep. A thousand one hundred and one yams southeast. Touch. <clears throat> Baff, you done it. You done done it, my boy. This is it. Welcome to Twine. The original dwellings were built to house those laborers tasked with building the track. Over time, miners came to seek their fortunes. That's what made the town grow to what you see before you today. But it was still the trolley that brought them here. As you've doubtless noticed, the track goes to the very heart of the town. It was the heart of the town. Back when the trolley still carried everyone home at the end of each hard day in the mines. Now there is no trolley, nor much work to be had in the mines, for that matter. The only residents that remain are the destitute, the delusional, and those with nowhere else to go, so they say. That should give you some indication of what to expect when you meet Magnus. As I said, it will help you understand why we can't get the trolley running. Just uh, don't expect too much aside from that. Well, that's encouraging. I don't see what I don't see that we have much choice. Let's go meet the man. Magnus, eh? Strong name. Very strong. Oh, strong man. Dang, super strong man. Give me voiced. Magnus.
Who are you supposed to be? Never seen the three of you in my life. Or the four of you? Quick and white. If you're gonna bother me, at least have the damn courtesy to stand still. He's drunk. Methinks this one is deep in his cups. There are my, these are my guests, Magnus. He ran into them at the mines. They're looking for a way to reach Nabatharang, so they came to ask about the trolley, you see. What? There's nothing in Nabatharang. Not anymore. Especially not for frail little girls. Give it up. No. We must reach Nabatharang. I must. Pah. So you have your heart set on it. The world doesn't care. The place is a ruin, nothing more. You're not getting there in the trolley. The thing doesn't run on hopes and dreams. We're not fools. It's necessity that drives us to the Batharang. And if you insist that the trolley is not an option, at least tell us why. No. I'm sick of people asking about the blasted thing. Leave it be. We'll speak outside. Guys having a rough time, it seems. Alright, Magnus, I'll leave you alone for a little bit. But I'll be back. He only said that because, because he thinks I'm weak. And he's right. I can't be. I won't be forever. There has to be some way. I must find it. Die Joby Minfilia, we got this. On track. Oh, I'm sorry. I was. Stuck in my own head again. It's clear that Magnus has no intention of helping us, but perhaps we should ask the other residents? They may know something of the trolley. I'll take the north side of town. Let me know if you learn anything. Good luck, Mithria. Thank Red. Art thou truly content, content to stand witness to fate's course and take no part? This isn't a matter of fate, Rianje. It's about choice. I've had years to decide where I stand. Minvilia has spent too long in chains already. I would not shackle her again by making my hopes known. It is for her to choose what shape her destiny will take. It is for me to stay silent, to protect her, teach her, and stand by her. That's at least I can do for her. So be it. Come, let us make our own inquiries. Alright. Let's go talk to some people. Hey, Jarek. Gemstones. Blech. My good boy, Jarek. <clears throat> oh, there you are. You'll be pleased to know that I got our friend back home with no trouble, and he's just fine. He was a bit shaken up, is all. And you? What did Magnus have to say? <laughs> ah, I did have a faint hope that your need might prompt him to action where our interest has not, but I suppose that was foolish of me. I'm sorry that we couldn't be of help, though. I can at least show you the trolley car we have here if you like. You could give it a stroke or two. It has some very smooth wood. You mean to say you're not giving up? Even knowing that Magnus is... Oh, Magnus? Hmm. I don't see much point in your being stubborn about it. Though, perhaps stubbornness is exactly what this situation calls for. You can't forge iron without an anvil, after all. I can't imagine that anything you try will work. But if you're certain... You can help me make preparations in the event that it does. To that end, take this toolbox. We're going to inspect the rails. I'll have a look along the tracks for anything that's in need of repair. You bring the tools, and I'll be, re and be ready to hand them to me whenever I stop to work. Alright. <clears throat> to the rails! I can do that. Oops, I guess I didn't need to go up here. Go man, go man. Hello, Jarek. This spot looks like it could use a bit of work. Can you ready the tools for me? Oh, yes. You open the box, revealing the proud array of lovingly maintained tools within. Brilliant! Now, you can hand me what I need as I work, that would be a help. 
In this case, hmm. Well, this bolt is loose for one matter. We can't have that. I'll need to tighten it. A vicious looking saw, a mid sized wrench, a ragged cloth. <laughs> well, he needs a wrench for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you. This will do nicely. Now give me one moment and... There. I don't see any other problems here, so let's continue along the track. Okay. Guess uh, this is my life now. Trolley boy. Pack mule. Along the tracks of Am Amarang. Good stuff. My favorite. Alright, Jerk. Next one. Excuse me. You set down the toolbox, the muscles of your arms enjoying the profound relief, and open it once again. You're quite handy to have around, you know. Okay. As to the lamp here, these aren't often necessary these days, but if we're going to do this, we might as well do it properly. And if, by some miracle, the night returns as it did in Lakeland, well, it's a nice thought. <clears throat> Anyhow, a bit of this post seems to have splintered. Whether its lamp is to be lit or not, we wouldn't want these little pieces of wood jabbing the next person who comes through here to do maintenance. I'll need to sand it down a bit. A bulky saw, a heavy hammer, a rough file. You can take the file. Yes, a wood file is perfect! Let me even this out. Bruh. That should do it. I'll bring some varnish along next time to finish the job. I haven't spotted any other problems, so we can move along now. Unless you'd like to take in the view of the tracks from here a bit longer. It's breathtaking, I know. <clears throat> Mining has always been the primary vocation of folks in the hills of Amber, you see. But after a certain point, they had dug up everything that could easily be reached and carried back by manpower alone. It was then that the Nabath Empire struck upon the idea of the Talos, which they had seen at work abroad. At great expense, the Nabath brought the Mistal engineers who specialize in Talos here to the hills. Wouldn't you know it, the mining industry picked right back up again. Twine itself sprung up around that time, as a matter of fact. It was named after the Entwining of Tales, a fruitful co cooperation between the native Ra and Ronzo and the newly come Mistal. <clears throat> but that, like so much else, fell apart in the wake of the flood. The Mistal left, taking their knowledge with them. It was fifteen years ago that the last of them, folks from Daedalus Stoneworks, took off for Yulmor, and now no one remains that can repair and operate the Talos. There's no use in lamenting what can't be changed, and there's one more thing we need to do while we're out here. We might as well get to it. Vultures occasionally make their nests on the tracks, you see, and it falls to us to remove them when they do. The creatures are angry when disturbed, which is natural, but nevertheless a danger to anyone passing by. It's not my favorite task, to be honest with you. As you may have noticed, I'm not terribly suited to confrontation. That said, would you follow the tracks north and remove any nests you find for me? I'll keep an eye on things from here. Making me do all his work for him. This guy. This dude. Come on, man. Vulturenist. Yeah. I'll take care of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. A desert vulture. Just one? Hmm. Not that I'm complaining. I'll take down one singular vulture. JK, there's two more. Vulture nest. 
let's uh bring out my chocobo hey hey Oh, easy, mate. <laughs> I went to the dance looking for romance. Yep, <laughs> that's the one, baby. Um, 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 orang. <clears throat> oh, jeez, that was quick. Yep, we back at it, doing some more Final Fantasy XIV on the Dawn Trail. Trying to get through Shadowbringers while I still got time. The last thing I want to do is have to rush through Endwalker. On like the final days before Dawn Trail releases. That would be terrible, so. Almost. Almost, uh. Getting around halfway here in Shadowbringers. To be honest, I don't really remember much about what happens here in Amarang. Talking about taluses and stuff, so uh, yeah. Jerk, I killed your vultures, boy. You're welcome. Thank you. That should be everything taken care of. In return for your help, I'll tell you a bit more about the trolley. Nothing that can get it started again, though. As I said, the only people who know who knew how to repair the talus are long gone. When they left, the life began to bleed out of the town. Trolley's tracks rusted, and its cars fell into disrepair. Now, I was born in Twine, raised there. My first word was trolley. Damn it. And those were the worst years of my life. But then, about seven years passed, Magnus and his wife returned to us. Magnus is a real, proper trolley engineer. Perhaps he would he would never have left in the first place if it hadn't been for his son. As you're well aware, Amarang is hardly the safest place. Magnus wanted his child to grow up away from his dangers. It didn't help in the end. The Sin Eaters got the boy. Isn't that always the way? The child had always said that, said that someday he wanted to see Magnus's trolley running again. So in his memory, he returned to Twine. Started fixing those rusted rails and broken cars. It was going well for a time. <laughs> eh. Wicked white! Vultures! Are they back for revenge? Never mind, I don't want to find out! Right. Alright, so Magnus is, uh... I close the distance just before Dawn Trail releases. Heck yeah, baby. That's the one. Alright, well now we know why Magnus is sad. He lost his son. Alright, Jerk. I didn't see no vultures out there. <clears throat> nice work out there. And now you know the story of the trolley. Won't do you much good without the Talos, though. If there was even a single one that still functioned, things might be different, but... Well, here we are. On track, baby! Give me my... Leggies! And let's... Oh, 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 there, there. Yes, sir! Oh, can't see it. Doesn't make a difference! Blue quest! <laughs> Alright, I gotta do this blue quest first. It's imperative. This is probably a... Yep. Scavengers assemble for the etherite. Oh, my poor friends. Left to be eaten by horrid beasts. I feel terrible about running away, but what choice did I have? No point in us all being killed now, is there? Finding someone to go in and retrieve the bodies, I mean, I mean rescue them, would absolve me of the blame, yes? If you could go to the ruins of Kelk to look for those for two more scavengers, I would be very grateful. Eh. Wow. The heck? Way over there? Yeah, that's not happening right now. We'll continue with the MSQ for now. Alright, Jerk. Down for maintenance. Down the clown. Not that it'd do you any good, but we do have a Talos we've been meaning to repair. I can show you if you'd like. It's It'd certainly be nice to hear something other than Magnus's griping for a change. Ugh. So congested. <clears throat> Unrepaired Talos. Talos. Bro, easy. Give it a bit of magic, be good to go. Touch. Oh, it's so sad. 
truly, truly a vexing, truly a vexing state of affairs. I thought mayhap a closer examination might yield something of value. I see. The means to build Talos stone by stone are lost to us. It is true. But here, before us slumbers a most fine specimen. Indeed, were it not for a few minor failings, it would be in working condition. It will likely require naught but a few modest repairs and a suffusion of ether. Well, if you think you can get the thing up and running, far be it from me to stop you. But what exactly do you reckon is the problem? I should stress that I have performed only the most cursory of examinations, though such arcane constructs are not wholly unfamiliar to me. As I did suspect from the first, it is host to a network of veins through which ether floweth freely. Or so it would, were it not for several fractures which now impede said flow. How in the hells did you get all that from just a glance? I take it you've thought up of a solution as well. To bridge these fissures requireth a material highly condu conductive to ether. Once in place, I believe, it will be possible to restore the talus to life. Might have prevail upon thee to require that which we require. <clears throat> Not far beyond the walls of twine dwelleth a creature of living stone, the debitage. Full sure am I that stone from such a being would prove most suitable to our needs. Mm-hmm. Killing things? What I do best? Very good. I shall have Thankrid and Renfilia attend me in the remaining preparations. I spied but three obstructions to the flow of ether the Talos, and thus would I ask you provide three stones of the debitage. All else will be made ready upon thy return. Yahoo! Alright. Yes, sir! Okay. Killing some debitages. Those things? Those are the ones. Sorry, buddy. I need your stones! A one, a two. Let's see. I want to stray too far, otherwise I'm going to lose aggro on him. Oh, there's one over there. I'll take that one. That's it. Oh, that one. Hmm. Let's do this one. Hello, friend. May I take your stone? Is that work out for you? <clears throat> Easy. Good night. Alright. Quest done. Down for maintenance. Completo. <clears throat> Eto. Rion J. Here you are, my good sir. Thankrid and Minfilia will return ere long with the remaining supplies we require. Didst thou succeed in procuring stone from the debitage? Yes. Hmm. Fine specimens, one and all. You have my thanks. We need now but wait for Thankrid and Minfilia's return. Bro, give me a voice cutscene. Not a single one this whole session. From end to end, the paths by which ether may flow to the Talos have been duly mended. From end to end. They but require a sufficient endowment. It's not moving. Strange. The core refuseth to stir. I fear the condition of this Talos is more dire than I previously surmised. As a heart driveth blood through a man's veins, so doth the core ether throughout this massive frame. Failing its repair or replacement, the talos cannot be restored. So it was the heart after all. Thou didst foresee this outcome. Well, no. Not exactly. We had never gotten this far and tried to repair it, so we had no way of knowing the heart was the real problem. We tried to find another, in case things turned out as they are now, but... Jarek? This uh, isn't really my story to share. Please, Jarek, 
If something went wrong, maybe we can help. Alright, alright. After all you lot have done for me, I suppose it's the least I can do. Completo! Spill the beans, Jarek. We'll spill them for you. You don't want that to happen, I tell you what. The truth hurts. Right then, the Talos. Their hearts cannot be made of just any stone. You need a special sort with sufficient ethereal con con conductivity. Both it and the other materials used in the construction of Talos bodies are mined in the same place. That place, of course, being here, the Hills of Amber. It was three years ago when... when she... No, no, I can't. I'm sorry, but you'll have to hear it from Thaf or someone else. Yeah. How dare you. Ah, back to the tavern then. Okay. Thaf. Nope. We're gonna hear from Magnus. I already tell. Magnus and... Nope. Just kidding. Is that? <clears throat> Still here, eh? You can ask again, but the answer's the same. Our trolleys are... What? God damn it, Sherrick. You could have at least finished so I wouldn't have to clean up your mess. Seeing how you made such quick progress in fixing the... In fixing that towels and all. Who's probably thinking you could help change things around here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think you may be right. Gather your friends, and I'll tell you what you want to know. A little serious business right here. It's a big confession coming up. Magnus's wife was a miner, you know. Greatest prospector there ever was. I was way off on the voice, but okay. When the golem hearts started failing, she was the first to head out in search of more. Problem was, most of the veins ran dry ages ago, and finding fresh ones to tap's only gotten harder. But she wasn't one to be deterred. She just kept digging deeper and deeper. And then the mine collapsed. We labored day and night to clear away the rubble, but it took us two months to find her. To find her body. Magnus has never been the same since. Where is he, if you don't mind my asking? Ah, yes, well, if he's not here, there's only one other place he'd be. Times must I tell you, the trolley won't run. We'd be better off dismantling the damn thing and selling the parts for scrap. Now piss off back to wherever you came from, and don't let me catch you around here again. What were their names? My son was named Skuli. My wife, Agna. Being here with them, it beats going home. Home stopped being home when I lost them. 
I thought to try and drown my sorrows. But somehow, the bottle's never deep enough. No bottle is. Believe me, I know. You've lost someone too. Not like you. Not my own flesh and blood. I grew up an orphan, so I never really knew what family meant. Not until I met a man who offered to take me in and make me his pupil. He was a kindly soul, always looking out for me, like a father. Not that I appreciated that at the time, or anything else for that matter. But I finally had a family. And then... And then I robbed a young girl of hers. I did my best to make amends, to offer her comfort. But the more I look back on it, the more I realize just how inadequate my efforts were. I let her down. That is why I refuse to let her legacy die. In the end, all we can do is press on for those we have lost, for those we can yet save. And that requires your Talos. Please, Magnus. You are our only hope of reaching Nabath Arain. <laughs> what rubbish. She's not gone. No matter what you say or believe, she's not. We can still bring her back. the weight of a simple gesture. <clears throat> Alright, we're on Jay? What are we doing? Full well do I know the pain of loss and how heavily it can weigh on one's heart. Nevertheless, there is but one way forward. You must needs procure a new heart for the Talos. Vaf, knowest thou any location wherein we might find the stone we require? No matter how scant the possibility, we would seize it. I told you, I told you knew all the veins were tapped dry years ago. Though, I suppose, if you really wanted to try, you might find something at Nuvi's leavings. It was open well before Talos became commonplace, which is why the mining there was never quite as deep. When you get there, look for Guth John and tell him I sent you. Don't be surprised if he tells you the same thing. Thine assistance is most appreciated. Furious, I think it best Thinker joined thee in his search. Though he would be quick to deny it, his heart is in turmoil, and his thoughts clouded. It would be unwise to ignore his distress. Me and the boy? Boy's trip? Me and Thancred? Don't mind if I do? It's been a while, so I'm just hanging out with Thancred. Come on, buddy. I know, times are hard. Off to somewhere, are you? At last, a lead on the stone we need to power the Talos. I can't very well have you go on your own. Lead the way. Haven't done this since, what, Ifrit? Dang! Titan Bronze weapon. Ooh, a new weapon? Come on, come on, baby. Give me something cool! That is the most basic bow I ever saw, but better stats. A convenient distraction, eh? I'd say we're long overdue for a good turn. I can only hope the gods feel the same way. Now. Louis' leavings was to the south, was it? Let's get going. 
Oh boy, another blue quest. No! I think it's the last one though. Spain. Charmless man. Have you seen a charm like this before? I found it among the stones brought from the mine. A lot of the workers wear these for good luck, and I expect whoever lost it is wondering where it went. It's the first time I've seen one made from cat's eye, so the owner shouldn't be hard to track down. I'd go and look for them myself, but I've got too much to do here. Would you be... Would you be able to go in my place? The graveyard keeper is quite knowledgeable about charms and whatnot, so it might be worth asking him. I like that key you got as a necklace there. Okay, let's do this one first since I'm in the area. Graveyard keeper, huh? Do you have a name? Or are you just graveyard keeper? <clears throat> What's that you have there? Oh, yes. Cat's eye charms like this were once used to ward off misfortune. The tradition began with the Church of the First Light, and the gem represents their patron deity. Even though no one follows that old religion anymore, some of its customs remain, especially among the miners. You don't see many this exquisite, though. I seem to remember the fellow with an eye patch kept a similar charm around his neck. Might even be the same, exact same one. Never caught his name, but he's not hard to miss. The last I saw of him, he was leaving to mine newbie's leavings with some of the others. What do you know? That's exactly where I need to go! Amazing! Yep, Charmless Man's over there, Convenient Distraction, where I'm going with Thinkrate, and this one way over here for the other blue quest. So far... Wait, is this the last blue quest? Let's see. Nope, there's one more after these two I'm on. Dang it. Daijoub. That's not too bad, I guess. And way to the southeast, so that's probably way over here to these, like, pristine Palace of Amarik. A thistle mole. Oh, it's so cute. Unless it attacks me, but it's not cute. That's right. Know your place. Ooh. Dry spine gigant. Gigant tender. That you think, Yes, it is. First, let me find this charmless man. One eyed miner. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, I didn't notice it there. What do you want? That's charm. Where did you get this? Gods, how could I have been so careless? This was all my sister left behind before she. Look, I'd rather not talk about it, but I appreciate you bringing this back to me. It means a lot. You're welcome. Oh, later. Yay! Alright, thank you, you and me. We'll do this. The way you described it, I was expecting the place to be abandoned. <clears throat> Perhaps our fortunes are finally improving, but we should probably hear what Goth Guth John has to say before we celebrate, assuming we can find him, that is. Alright, well, in we go. Megalobat. Sounds like a Pokemon. Huh. I don't know why, when I entered this cave, I kind of expected the music to change, but alas, it did not. Guth John, Doko desu ka? There you are. Hello, buddy. Uh oh, sinister music. <clears throat> hmm? Who are you? And what are you doing here? <laughs> well, you should have listened to Thaf. You're wasting your time. But this site is not as developed as the others, is it not? Surely there must be something left. I should explain. The stone you're looking for is Leonine. All the Talos in the Hills of Amber were powered using them. Or were, at least. Anyway. Whatever's left, if anything, is too far below to be safely excavated. In the deepest reaches of the mine, we used Talos to keep the pathways from collapsing. They're still there, but they could give out at any time, which is why much of the mine is closed off. Then our only option is to search the higher levels for any fragments of Leonine that may have been overlooked. Hmm. I suppose there may be one other way. Well, don't leave us in suspense. 
what you're asking for is a trade secret. I need to be duly compensated in exchange. <sighs> Fine. What do you want? The other day, I found a Vobart gold piece down in the mines. A bloody Vobart gold piece! And once you know it, I dropped a damn thing move somewhere while I was working. Find it, and I'll tell you what you want to know. You drive a hard bargain, sir. But we'll take it. It seems we have our work cut out for us, Furious. Thankfully, I have an idea for how we might hurry things along. You have a magnet or something? What's your idea? As I'm sure you've noticed, despite their efforts to, their best efforts to illuminate the corridors, it's rather dark in here, meaning it will be that much harder to find a single coin hiding in the shadows. That's why I propose we use these, sun drops, to help the eye take in more light. Why don't you start your search further in, and I handle this area here. I'll retrace your steps after in case you happen to miss some. Miss it. <clears throat> if you feel the drop's effects wearing off, I can give you more, so don't worry. Really? This is gonna help? Dark sights! I have dark vision! Dark shadow. I doubt it's gonna be this easy. But alas, I will try. Touch. You search the shadows but find nothing. Perhaps the gold piece lies elsewhere. Yeah, I figured as much. My gamer intuition tells me it's gonna be in this little cavern over here. I wonder, you know what? I'm going to just skip everything else and go in here. Bet. Just past those megalobats. Underneath some little uh, planks here. As you search the shadows, a glint catches your eye. You turn over a rock and find the Vobert gold piece! You know what they say. I am gamer. <clears throat> Too easy. Okay, I found the piece. Thankrid, you did uh, not a whole lot, but thanks for giving me dark vision. Where you at, buddy? Mind friend. Okay, here you are. Thanks for the sun drops, kiddo. I was hoping you dropped the gold piece somewhere closer to the entrance. More fool me. More fool me for thinking Lady Luck was on her side. Yeah, except I found it. Cause I'm smarter than you. Or maybe she is. Yours, at least. In the end, my contribution was little more than poor company. I would say poor. Well, I couldn't have done it without your sun drops. Come now, Thankrid. You were far more prepared for this task than I. Yeah, I'll be nice. Come now, my good man. Not more than usual, I assure you. I only managed to survive the curse and wilderness and the Imperial capital by virtue of extensive preparation. A habit of mine since childhood, and one of my few positive traits which endeared me to Louis Soi, I imagine. <clears throat> it hasn't been easy finding ways to compensate for my condition. Every tool and trinket has proven vital to my con continued success, such as it is. Had I chosen to pursue the arcane arts rather than espionage, well, I'd rather not think on it. So long as I have the means to protect those dear to me, and to see my duties through, that's all that matters. Now, let's hurry and see that return to Guth John. The sooner we get back to Yuran Jay and Minfilia, the better. I, so you know, sometimes I forget that Thancred has a condition. You're back? Wait, does that mean- Yes, sir. Take your gold piece. <gasps> I'll be damned! You actually found it! Well, a deal is a deal. But don't think this means you'll find what you're after. Oh, I'll find it. I don't know what you're counting over there. I see singular bucket. No, three buckets, but okay. A dirty job. Dirty, dirty job. <clears throat> to be honest, I wasn't sure you could pull it off. But you did, and I'm a man of my word. Come with me. Alright, where are you taking us? Into the shack. Nope, just kidding. Way the heck out there, bruh. Alright. Where are you leading me? What ruse is this? What if he backstabs me? After all the trouble I went through. I doubt he will. He knows better than to cross the warrior of darkness. Or at least he hope I I'd hope he knew better. <clears throat> I also apologize for all my sniffling and uh, throat clearing. I'm obviously not doing too hot right now. Guth John! Oh, that's him. Please be voiced. <laughs> Please be voiced! Ooh, it might be.
Probably not, actually. Eh. Ah. Every time I step out of those mines, the sky seems to get brighter. I'd never, I'd never leave them if the air weren't so stale. But you're not come to hear my grievances. You're after Leonine. First, I have to ask, you ever heard of rockworms? Oh my gosh, we're gonna play Dune right now. Rockworms? I know them by another name, though I'm fairly certain the locals call them knockers. <laughs> Aye, that they do. Whenever you want to call them, those little bastards may be the answer to your troubles. They can fit through cracks and crevices down there, where we can never hope to reach. And, on occasion, they come back with something valuable. <gasps> they dig up the leonine in the mines. It's a rare occurrence, but yes. That said, it usually amounts to no more than a few flakes. Well, our only other option sounds tantamount to suicide. So how can we draw out these rockworms? You gotta use a little pfft, the thumper thing. I, I watched, dude. Over by that shack, you'll find a bag full of smoke bombs. Set off a few in the mines, and you'll flush them out in no time. Once they're out in the open, knock them senseless and check their backs. That's rude. Okay. I should warn you, this method of mining, if you can even call it that, is used as a last resort on account of what little they're going to like to bring back. You'll want to cover as much ground as you can if you hope to find anything of value. Assuming you do find something, bring it here and I'll have a look. He's gonna steal from me. We should split up if we're to cover more ground as he suggests. If you can cover these three areas on your map, I'll see you to the parts between them. Fair enough, thank you. Always a man of efficiency. For a second there, I got excited that uh, I was gonna go rockworm riding. Be Paul Atreides. Nissan al Gaib, you know what I mean? Okay. Let's go this way. Uh, seems like Thankry gave me the short end of the stick. Looks like I'm covering way more area than he is. But alright. Fair enough. Smoke bomb! Oh. Okay. I could have sworn I was going to place it and then the worm would come up and I have to beat it up, but I was wrong. Hey, this is where I found the Vobert Gold! Touch. Yush. Okay. Two. One more. Don't you dare attack me. Good. Good boy. Good docile boy. <clears throat> I wonder why they're called gnomes. Because, as I said before, they're not like any gnomes I've ever seen. Crevis. Oh, it's pretty close to that enemy. If you're smart, you won't look this way. That's right. The air in the mines grows thick with smoke. Nearby, you hear the soft rumbling of stones. Rubble! Purple means I'm gonna fight something. It's a worm! Two worms! Doesn't look like a worm. Oh, geez, another one. I really hope I don't have to go back to those other spots. That would be annoying. Oh my goodness. You are joking me right now. Wait, what? Is there more? Gee, that was really loud. Is there more in this area? No, huh? Okay. Well, I did my best. Guess I'll go back to the- oh! Ah! They're scattered throughout the mines. Shut up! Anybody else want to scrap with the champ? That's it. 
two. Okay. Oh, jeez. Making me run through these stupid mines, bro. Come on, man. I see purple. Let's buy some treasure. Yeah. Take this! Didn't one shot him? Come on now. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's it, baby. Oh, yeah. Correct. Okay. More. More! Oh, jeez. There's none that way. Oh, yep, I probably missed some. Gosh. Poo. Let's see one over there. Uh, AoE. Are they laughing at me? Am I the one hearing that? Yish. Four, five, I'm probably gonna have to retrace my steps, that's so annoying. Dang it. Touch. He's most definitely laughing at me. You know what, that's what you get. Yeah, stay dead. How dare you. Laughing at me. Right, let's go back. Let's, yep, they're all over there. Dang it! Every time. No! I refuse to fight you. I'm a pacifist at heart. Okay. In here, where I found that there's one, should be two. Yep, two. Rubble. Oh, buddy. Holy shamoly. One more, probably. Why do they do that? Why do they have that one random one spawn at the very end of killing the first three? It makes no sense to me. Yeah. Touch. Ugh, just one? You stupid little... And another one! Got him, okay. Onward. At last. I wonder how Thancred fared. Doubt he did better than me, that's for sure. Hmm. Right. You're the punk that tried to attack me, aren't you? Yeah. Keep facing that way. Don't you dare look this direction. Know your place. Okay, friends. Guth John, thank you, you're already out here. How the heck did you beat me? There you are. Find anything promising? Glittering rocks. Between the two of you, I'd say you've got quite the haul. Best get comfortable, friends. It's going to take time for me to sift through all this. I got all the time in the world. Not really, but... What else can I do, huh? Voiced, baby. I can feel it. You may not remember this about Arminfilia. But prior to founding the Path of the Twelve, long before the Scions, she was something of a miner. After her father died, Flamine took her in and taught her the trade. I think they were both seeking to fill the void left by a loved one. Maybe that's why she took to it so readily. Back in those days, I spent most of my time in the quicksand, or some other tavern, loosening tongues and gathering secrets. Occasionally, I'd catch a glimpse of her in the street, on her way home after another hard day's work. I always felt a wave of relief when I saw she'd come back safe. 
along with a pang of guilt at the fact I wasn't there to support her as I should have been. Simply speaking with her more than once in a blue moon would have been a good start. But I could never bring myself to do it. Instead, I threw myself into my work and became every drunkard's best friend. Ooh, I can't imagine she thought too highly of you back then. Not your finest hour, to say the least. Yeah, we we'll go with that one. Far from it, and Flamine has never let me live it down. But that was a lifetime ago. Here and now, I have another chance to do things right, and I will not squander it again. Hey, come and see what I found. You're not going to believe yeah, this. That was pretty close. Tell me it's Leonine. It is at that. You lot were born lucky. It's mostly broken pieces. But look at this. This is a rather fine specimen. It's been decades since we found anything approaching this big. But that's not all. There's an engraving on it. Ah, these scratches here. They're a little hard to make out. To my beloved Magnus and Schooley. <laughs> Yes! Do you see? It was a gift to Magnus from his wife. She found it. She really found it. She must have spent her final hours carving this message into the stone, in the hope that he might see it one day. Those rock-backed bastards must have made off with it before we could clear a path to her. It's fate that brought you here to find this stone. No other explanation. It makes me wonder what else might still be buried in these parts. Truly, Sugoi. What's that called? Poetic justice? Oh, that's like... That's like a bad thing, isn't it? It's not poetic justice. But, uh... <clears throat> hmm. I don't know the... Ooh, this guy's... Dang, that's a sick glamour. What the heck? You're a dark knight, too? Dang! Put Stanker to shame! Holy smokes! Alright, guy. Props. Good John! Have a heart. I wouldn't believe it had I not seen it for myself. Before you set it in a talus, would you take it to Magnus? For three long years he's believed she died for nothing. You must know the truth, that her sacrifice was not in vain. We'll take it straight to him, you have my word. Thank you, good John, for all your help. Right then, let's not keep everyone waiting. Eto, okay, let's see. Go straight back or do this one first. Let's just go straight back. And another blue quest. No, please, Slinky. Alright, let's go. Horther! A vain pursuit. Say, perhaps you could help me. How so? As you've no doubt noticed, most of Twine's miners are Ronso. There's a Mr. Lad, though. The only one of his kind in the whole town. His name's Kisat, a bit of a loner, always digging by himself in places where you'll be lucky to find a few lumps of coal, never mind gems and such. I often ask him why he doesn't mine the same spots as the rest of us, but he never gives me a proper answer. I dare say he would be more inclined to speak with an outsider. If we could get the truth out of him and see if anything is the matter, it would put my mind at ease. Fair enough. Ooh, and he's in town? Say less, buddy. 
I'll go speak to this dude that's just across the way. If I can get over there. Oh, Amaro Cube. Wait, first. There you are. Yeah, Amaro. Nope. Don't care. Keysat. Oh, this dude's got a glamour too. Oh, what the heck? Cutscene for my blue quest? Dang. Colors. A traveler, eh? What do you want with me? Uh, lucky to find a couple lumps of coal. Is that what he said? <laughs> Shows how much he knows. Let me give this guy a stupid voice. You, on the other hand, might be a better audience for my master plan. Have you ever heard of an alloy called Nabathium? It's strong, light, and resistant to heat and friction. It was one of the most valuable metals in the Batharang, and a lot of their jewelry was made from the stuff. The trouble is, the techniques for mixing the alloy were lost to the flood. I've been looking for a way to make my own, and my search led me to a scroll that explains the methods, right down to the last detail. After having a historian decipher it, I learned that I lacked one vital ingredient, rutabite, and that is what I'm digging for. Eh. Short of venturing into the empty, my next best option is to look for a vein here in Amarang. Of course, I don't stand a much better chance of finding one if I'd help, but I'd rather not have to rely on anyone from around here. <clears throat> Some of the Ronzo miners take exception to the fact that I'm Mistal. They seem to think we're not built for this kind of work. When I find that rutabite, you'll see how wrong they are. You know, this is the first time I've said more than about two words to anyone in a while. I feel better for getting that off my chest. This might be a bit sudden, but I have an idea. How would you like to see the moment I finally unearth that vein of ore? Well, what I really mean is that I need someone there to act as witness. Otherwise, the others might think I bought a lump of I bought a lump of it from somewhere, ludicrously expensive as it is, and are pretending to have dug it up myself. Will you do me this one favor? Will I? Come on, man. I got better things to do. You will? Thank you. Luckily, I found this perfect spot for my next dig. If my miner's hunch is correct, the ore should be waiting just below the surface. It's at Nuvi's leavings, so I'll wait for you there. Oh, come on, man. Bro, I was just there. Yeah, I'm not going there anytime soon. Or actually, I might be, but for now... MSQ, MSQ, MSQ. Magnus, I have a gift for you, buddy. You might be thrilled. You might be ecstatic. You might actually not take this very well. Let's find out. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Oh, it's you. If you come to complain about the trolley, you find no sympathy from me. I told you before it won't run, you wouldn't listen. Oh, but it will. Now that we have this. <clears throat> your name is engraved on it, along with your son's. It was a gift from your wife, Magnus. From Agna. No. No, she couldn't have. Agna. Take it. Do with it what you will. Are you certain? We we'll delay our plans, but... I said take it. It was you who found it. You who needs it. Looking at that stone, all I can see is this. Please, just leave me be. I hope you'll be there when the Talos stirs to life. I'm sure she'd want you to see it.
Would you do the honors of delivering this to Yuan Jie? I most certainly will do the honors. I wonder where Thancred went. Oh, bro, you're right. Well, you could have done it. Thou art returned, and with Leonine it would seem. As promised, the Talos hath been made ready to receive its heart, thanks in no small part to Jeric, Beth, and Minfilia. At last we shall return time to the Timeless, this Sentinel of Stone, that we may press on towards Nabatharang. <coughs> Excuse me. Very good. Now, let us begin. Get that thing going, baby. Preparations for the enchantment are complete. When the heart hath been suffused with a sufficient quantity of ether, the golem should be restored to life. All right, then. Whenever you're ready. It's working! It's working! M Magnus! This wretched heap of stone and rubble! This worthless pile of earth! And yet... I can't... I can't... What troubleth thee, child? I shouldn't be here. I don't deserve to be. I don't deserve any of the things you've done for me. I'm just a burden. Helpless and hopeless. If tomorrow came and I was gone, it would be better for everyone. Thancred most of all. He'll never admit it, but I can see it in his eyes. I wish he'd just say it. Just say that he hates me. That he wishes I was dead so that she could return. None of this is thy doing, child. Twas I who set the Oracle on her path unto the first. I who condemned you all to suffer these torments. Tis my sin alone and one that will haunt me unto my dying day. Yet I dare not dwell over long on my many regrets, for the world is a tapestry of fates, interwoven and inseparable. 
and we who strive to better it cannot choose but make difficult decisions. For naught of worth was ever achieved without sacrifice. And thus must man ever struggle to weigh life against loss. The one for whom thou mournest beareth no grudge. Were she here, she would not suffer thee to languish in sorrow. She would tell thee to seek thine own path, thine own purpose. It is a truth which I myself was slow to learn, yet a truth it remaineth. Thou needst but have faith, have faith, and all will be well. Go to her. I mean, no words for her. Ooh. Nah, be assertive. Not today. Meanwhile, in the Crystarium. Nanny! Yo, this creeper. To what do I owe the pleasure that is your extended stay? Oh, to the tediousness of our hero's present endeavors. That and the insufferable abundance of light in Armor M. I should be glad to keep my distance. Oh, I'm rather fond of sleep, you know. It's a wonderful way to pass the time. Not that my compeers would agree, mind you. Always on the move, the lot of them. Like La Habrea, constantly jumping from vessel to vessel. Such fire, such determination. So much passion, fleeting and forgotten. Come to think of it, Exarch, I don't believe I've ever seen you retire to your chambers for so much as 40 winks. However do you keep your eyes from closing? The cold shoulder. You wound me, sir. Always so guarded in our every interaction. Interactions you curiously refrain from sharing with the Scions and their champion. And risk souring your budding relationship? I think not. Much as I dislike you, there are more useful targets for his energies. And I'm not in the habit of pointing him at my enemies like a weapon. Is that right? Fond of him, are you? You continue to fascinate me, Exarch. But tell me, who are you? The once great nation whose ingenuity gave birth to this tower was shaped by my hand. As such, I know full well the wonders it can facilitate and those it cannot. There is nothing in these walls which could have aided you in summoning our dear friend across time and space. Much less in possession of his mortal flesh, not even I could have performed such a feat. 
I see. You had a hand in Alag as well. You would know what I am? I am the adjudicator of the sacred history with which you dared trifle. I am keeper of this tower's boundless wisdom. The wisdom of ages without age, of everywhere and nowhere. The great work of those who tamed the wings of time and grasped the nature of the rift. Tis a boon born of sacrifices yet unmade. The parting gift of brave heroes who will one day give their lives for a brighter future. I will not see their hopes and dreams squandered. The history which led us here will be unwritten. I promise you that. Well, it seems we're both eager to fulfill our duties, then. On that much, we are in agreement. Mm -hmm. I even have myself knows what's going on with the Exarch. Are you on, Jay? Wise words, my friend. Wise words. <clears throat> Mine apologies for the delay. Minfilia and I had a private matter to discuss. Which bringeth me to the question, how didst thou find Lankrit during your search? <laughs> he spoke of Minfilia, of his own accord. You see, tis well that he did with such candor. I attempted to broach the subject before. My intention was to ensure no words remained unspoken between them, lest tragedy intercede. A regret I myself know all too well. Alas, in the end he refused to heed my counsel. A time will come when they must face, free when they must face the reality of their circumstances, but I have faith that all will be well in time. Now, let us tarry, let us not tarry any longer. The Talos and the Batharang await. Indeed. Why are we just waiting around, huh? Magnus, we done done it, my man. Full steam. Ooh, those are that's a cool picture. Full steam ahead. It has been years since I've seen a Talos in such fine shape. Would that Agna was here to see it, or our son. I was ready to let her dreams die down there in the mines, even after you found the Leonine. I refused to believe it could work. Gods, what a fool I was. But I tell you now, I'm going to take good care of this Talos, both their sakes. On behalf of my family, all the miners of Twine, thank you. Well, Enough chitter chatter. Let's get you to the math. Let's get you. Let's get you lot to Nabatharang, eh? Gosh dang, man. Everything seems to be in order. I take it the Talos's presence resolves the issue of the gate. Hmm? Oh, that, yes. It's designed to open at the Talos's approach. Then we can finally go to Nabatharang. You certainly can. All that remains is a final check of the control box over at the mines. You hear that, boys? Get that Talos over to the mines, and keep a close eye on it around the curves, understood? Yes, sir. Hmm. Getting some bad lag spikes here. Let us repair to the mines, then. Before we go... While you were away with Furious, I prepared an extra set of cartridges for you. And this one, is a practice cartridge you gave me. I know I should have thrown it away ages ago, 
and I've been adding a little extra to it every day. After so many charges, I'm honestly not sure what it will do, but I wanted you to have it. For luck. Minfilia, I... Uh... We should hurry. Magnus and the others are probably wondering where we are. Uh, I guess so. We're avoiding each other again. Come on, communication is key in any sort of relationship. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's go all the way back up here, huh? Taking the tracks this time, though. So need to go down there. Hopefully, if I do all this stuff, I'll also need to head to these two areas so I can do those blue quests. Very important business. Flying is the number one thing I want to achieve while I'm here, so... Put it on the list, you know what I mean? Ooh, jeez. A meringue. Yep, let's do. And then, yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, I'm so congested. Oh, oh, oh. Spike, spikes. Mount Biron Mines. To Nabatharang. I'm ready. Let's do this. As long as I don't get attacked by these freaking mobs over here. Slip past you. Go right past you. There we go. Everybody's ready. So this is it. We're finally going to Nabatharang. I've thought long and hard about what to say to her. To the real Minfilia. I hoped when the time came I would know. With every step we take I feel more uncertain. That's no reason to give up though. Not when so much is at stake. Thank you. All of you. For helping me get to you. For helping me to get here. Now. Let's not keep Magnus waiting. Oh, it's a duty thing. Okay, all right, sure. There you are. So, what do you think? A little primitive looking, I'll admit. But Daedalus Stoneworks has always favored a simple, intuitive design. And that philosophy has served us well enough. Much of the trolley network uses single tracks, making it easy for the Talos to navigate them as needed. And prodding a route is so simple, even we can do it, which makes for fewer accidents in transit. Speaking of which, are you ready to board? We'll do it. All right, then. Watch your step. Push me. Push me. And then just... Ariange? Thou must needs carry on without me. The path to Nabatharang lieth open. Whilst thou travelest thither to the south, I would apprise Mistress Alize and the others of our progress. As circumstances permit, I will thereafter rejoin the hunt for the remaining Light Wardens. Magnus, will the gate close immediately after the trolley passes through? No, it will stay open until someone closes it manually. Built that way to prevent any untimely accidents. Then you and the others can meet us in Nabatharang, after giving the Yomorans the slip. Uh, Ariange. Thank you, for everything. Remember, thou needst but have faith. If you've finished with your goodbyes, I suggest you grab hold of something. Be a shame if you took a tumble.
The tracks beyond the gate aren't in the best of shape, so the trolley can only go as far as Ammalik. Godspeed! On the road again. Ah, that must be the gate. Well, so far, so good. Wait, is that Ranjit? What the? <laughs> You're a stubborn old swine, aren't you? One who has mastered Gukumots fears not the blackest pit or the fieriest hell. Your deeds in the East did not go unnoticed. Long have I lain in wait, and sure enough, you did not disappoint. Had you only sworn fealty to Lord Vorthry, you'd have no cause to skulk about like frightened animals. You will remain as you are while I dispatch these villains. No, I won't. I won't let you. You forget to whom you speak. Who armed you, trained you, fought and killed a thousand Sin-Eaters with you? And when you were inevitably cut down and lay lifeless in my arms, who sought out your successor to carry on the futile struggle again and again? We seek to bring peace to what is left of this shattered land, while these mad fools would only bring further chaos down upon us. Do not be deceived, child. Only by Lord Vorthry's hand will this dying world know a sliver of salvation. I don't know about the world, but I never asked to be saved. However much it hurts, and however hard it gets, it's my life, and I want to live it on my own terms! And those mad fools you want me to abandon. The ones I've traveled with, fought with, and may one day die with. They feel the same. So no, I will not be deceived. No matter what you say, I refuse to believe it's all for nothing. They're everything to me. All I have and all I need. And I would gladly do anything for them. Let us pass, or kill me. I'm not leaving here without them. How dare you! Very well. If you would cast your lot with villains, then you shall share their fate. I heard what you said. 
And I'm sorry for all the things I've left unspoken. You have to go! Now! Sancred, no! Go! Do what you came here to do! I'll not have you waste that newfound resolve on me. I leave her in your hands. Hurry! Yeah, right. Get past Thancred? Nah. Not another step. Your fight is with me. You think yourself a protector? Ta! As if a whelp like you could be a better father to her than me. Oh, let's go, baby! I do this all day. In coming battle, you will fight as Thancred. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got a... Okay, potion. My combo. Jumping attack. Okay, that's my gap closer. Nebula reduces damage. Smackdown. That's a buff. Okay. Let's go! Whatever it takes, I swear I will end you. <laughs> you lie to yourself as you lie to her. Oh no, I'm not doing my damage. Oh gosh, I'm so pro. Look at this. Perfectly melee range. Oh my goodness. Oh, right here. Oh no. I lied, kept secrets, but no more. She deserves better. A life of pain, of ceaseless conflict and despair. <laughs> Dang it, come on man. Oh, oops. I did not know those were, uh, consistent bubbles lying on the ground there. My bad. Standing in that for a bit. This is going well. This is going well. We got this, Nacred. Die joke. Okay, let's maybe not stand in that. Oh, jeez! Eh. Beast of my blood, answer my call! What the? He's the OG Reaper. Oh no! Ha! So you really are a monster. Better a monster than a deceiver. A spinner of foolish dreams and false hopes. Right. There is no folly in hope. I said as, my, as much myself once. I was wrong. Never again. Ah! Oh, stop using my gap closer so much, huh? Damn it. I need the time to line up a clean shot. Uh, stop using that gap closer. If there's no other way. Oh, uh, actually, I used it perfectly. Come on, come on, come on, come out before. 
Learn will you learn? Hey, he's still screaming at me. Wow. Oh, don't stand in front of that, maybe. Oh, this ain't good. When you're dead and buried. Oh, what is happening? Yield now and I will grant you a quick death. No. But we've only just begun. What is this? What is this foolishness? Not good. Huh? The strain is more than I remember. At least now I can get that shot. Fire around with gun blade. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get it. Yeah! You would call death for mere parlor tricks. <sighs> My life may be but a small price to pay. Then pay it, you shall. Nah, bruh. Come on, man. Get closer. Nexus of Thunder. Eh. Coiled Levin, was that? Okay, those are the ones that stay on the ground. Dang it, I screwed myself. No, I did. Oh my gosh. I'm ah, no! That joke. You never understood her. She is not a bird to be locked away in a gilded cage. Nebula. That's the one. Woo! And you presume to be her protector? Pathetic! Ah! Do we have to do this again, Thank Reed? Looks like I have to use it again then. Hey ah! Ah! Again with these tricks! Ah. Hold still, damn you! Ah. No quarter! Oh, jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, really good. Don't you move. Right here! Yeah. You have played your hand too far, far too early, boy. I doubt it. Bide your time for a chance to strike. That's all I've been doing, baby. Dang it. You want to not stand in those freaking things? Come on, guy. There we go. Come on, come on, come on to play. Ah, killing me. Put one here, there. Ah. Yeah. Come on. Ah. Oh no. Oh jeez, not good. I messed up. Shattered sky. Oh, I'm actually gonna have to use my first potion. Let's see. Nah. I like to live dangerously. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use that potion. Just in case. I don't want to fail this. Dang you, Ranjit. Oh, this is even better. Oh, dang it. This has carried on long enough, wouldn't you agree? Why do you persist in this folly? Let's do this. One more. Come on. Infidious, last cartridge. Have to... <sighs> make it count. Oh, damn. But how? 
Ow. What? Uh oh. Again. Fools from Fools. What the? I'd hoped you, you you would fall for it a third time. Oh no, I'm not doing too hard. <sighs> Two times was perhaps already too many. No more tricks. Then let us finish this. Endure Ranjit's onslaught. Oh no! Ooh! Move sacred! Ugh. Oh come on! Now! But you've not even seen the grand finale. Just a little more. Oh my god! Now I'm getting a pop of potion! Ah, potion! One last disappearing act. Oh. Leave me alone! Well, you're not struggling to stand, I might think you serious. Deadly serious. Come on, soul deep invisibility. Fool, you think the shadows will save you? There was no escape. Do you hear me? Oh, just uh, dang it. Come on. There, get there. Come here, bastard. Thank you, Nvidia, for this precious gift. Come on! To hell with you! Ooh. That's what's up, baby. You would have her suffer and die. I would spare her that fate. That is not for you or anyone else to decide ever again. Coward. Not a single day goes by that I don't think about all that you have given me. Countless memories and moments I took for granted. Gods, you grew up so fast. But you had to, didn't you? For those you had lost. For those you could yet save. A world teetering on the very brink of oblivion. For which you gave your everything. Without hesitation. Your kindness. Your compassion. Your love. Then and now. One last time, with a little help. I'm so proud to have been a part of your life. Oh, Minfilia.
Bruh. You think her is such a Chad, man. This is the place, Various. This is where she stopped the flood. The last time I was here, when I felt her presence overwhelming me, I tried to, pre to pretend it wasn't happening. Just turn away. But I can't turn away now. Not this time. With Thangrid and the others, I have to face her. Full steam ahead, complete. <clears throat> In the event that you leave the area, speak with the apprentice engineer at Twine in Amarang to return to Nabath Amarang. Well, I should probably finish this then, huh? Wait, where the heck am I? Uh. Alright, Minfilia. What do you got for me? Crossroads. The look in Minfilia's eye in Minfilia's eyes equal parts trepidation and determination. <clears throat> I can sense her presence, albeit faintly. Come on, let's look over by the crystal wall. Oh, actually, there might be a Southeast still? That must be it. I bet you the if the curtain is be right next to there. Aha! I found it! I'm gonna go touch this real quick. Sorry, Mephilia. Very important. Touch. Ish. Alright, now we can do your little little questy here. Sorry. Back in business. No, stand back. We shall stay the flood. But this is what I want. It's my sacrifice to make. Your time has not yet come. When all hangs in the balance, you must give them hope. Minfilia! This place...
You. You're. Ours is a meeting long overdue. Full glad am I that we may finally speak. It's good to see you again. I've come at Tancred's behest. Yeah. Oh, I should say that one, but no. Nah. After what Tancred did. My dear sweet child. Yours is a burden none should ever be forced to bear. Such pain and suffering you have endured. Yet still you came. For this and more, I thank you. I've lost count of the times I've almost given up. If people hadn't helped me every step of the way, I never would have made it. Yet here you stand, resolved. Now, tell me your heart's desire. To defeat the Sin Eaters, and bring this world back from the brink. The remaining Wardens have hidden themselves from us. But with the power of the Oracle, I thought we might be able to find them. Indeed you could. Their radiance would be unmistakable. But know, my child, that the power you seek will come at a price. We stand now at the crossroads. A decision must be made. It is only natural to be afraid, to hesitate. But for your many trials, you have grown stronger and wiser. And with the love and support of those you hold dear, you have grown to love yourself. The Flood has washed away so much of this world. So many people and places and possibilities. And all the heroes who fought to protect them. Yet here the Scions are. Trying so, so hard to help those few of us who remain. And seeing how tirelessly they work. How completely committed they are to the cause. I can't help but believe. I want to do more than just watch and cheer. I want to make a difference. I want to help them like they helped me, and maybe even inspire others to do the same. Coming together, providing for one another. That's the only way forward I can see. Since all of our heroes are gone. We'll just have to make heroes of ourselves. Tis a beautiful, wonderful dream. One we share. Though my power was all but spent in staying the flood, I prayed this final act would give hope to those who survived. self-same hope lives on in you. It gives me comfort to know that the future is in capable hands. If ever you should falter, remember this. No one, however powerful, is immune to the whisperings of doubt and despair. Do not give in to them. But do not deny them, either. 
Look instead to the light within, that you may continue to serve as a beacon to others. Thank you, Menphilia, for believing in us, for believing in me. Dearest friend, no words can express my gratitude to you for keeping her safe in these tumultuous times. You are a hero to us both. But not even the most valiant heroes can stand alone. Only together may you change the fate of two worlds. Nvidia! No! What the? What the heck? Wait a minute. Took too much light to the head. <clears throat> what happened? I remember speaking with Minfilia and then. Whoa. something wrong your hair has changed your eyes they've changed a parting gift I think until now I've walked this path she set before me the path she set before all the Minfilias and she, but she's given me a new path a new life I can call my own. And even though she's gone, I can still feel her. Warm and calm and gentle. I can feel the beating heart of the world. The light that swells within it. And the light wardens. There's one here in Amarang. Let's hurry back. The others need to know. You don't think... Thancred will be angry with me, do you? It's what Minfilia wanted. I'm sure he'll understand. There's only one way to find out, baby. Come on. You already know. You're not going to be angry. <clears throat> I know there's no way, get no getting around it, but... Would you mind going on ahead? I'll be right behind you. I promise. Dang, she looks so much better without that bleach blonde hair and those freaky eyes. Minfilia! Where the heck am I going? It, oh, all the way there? Okay, well. I guess I'm just gonna leave you there. Good luck, Minfilia. Have fun. With all these baddies around and stuff. I already got all of the ether currents. I did. Gotta make sure I do those two quests. Search for Thangrid. Yeah, I right. gotta go find this guy. He just kind of plopped down from exhaustion. I'm sure he's fine. Thangrid's been through much worse. He was, as they say, possessed by an Asian, so, you know. He's used to being out of his faculties. Ladle! Oh, the whole gang's here. There he is. See, he's chilling. He's just hanging out on the, the freaking steps. Oh, that's him. That one's got flowers on his head. Ah, oh, there you are. We were worried. Actually, he looks kind of beat up. Really? He wasn't the one that nearly got himself killed. It's a good thing Arianger called on us when he did. You were at death's door when we found you. 
but thanks to your timely ministrations, I was not obliged to walk through it. Minfilia? You saw her. I know I haven't exactly been pulling my weight up till now, but that's all going to change starting today. I'll do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to make Minfilia's dream a reality. I can track the Light Wardens now, maybe even help you fight them. I'm glad you're back. You don't have to say that, you know. But I want to. Your family. How else would I feel? She will need a name. A name? A name of her own. I would not have her walk in the shadow of another any longer. And I think it a fitting tribute to our departed friend too. At the mention of Minfilia, I would remember the woman who preserved our fellowship when all seemed lost. Do you remember what you were called before you were taken to Yulmo? I'm sorry, I don't. I couldn't have been very old when it happened. Then we must think of a new name. Suggestions? If the lady herself has no preference, I think the honor should rightly fall to Thancred. After all they have been through together, he is practically a father to her. Well spotted! I'm so glad you're here to explain these things. <laughs> and what exactly is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. What about... Reen? Ah, blessing in Fae. Wait, doth this mean thou wert listening when I delivered my lectures on the Pixies? Not exactly, but that one word made an impression. Of course, if it's not to your liking, I can think of something else. Ree. Yes, I rather like the sound of it. Thank you. That settles it then. Welcome aboard, Reen. 
I won't let you down. At last, we are one big happy family again. God dang, man. God dang, that's some kawaii stuff right there. Good job, you NJ. It's all thanks to you. Thank Grid. Yep, I'm just step in here. Good job, buddy. Look at him. Look at each other. It's not awkward at all. Next one is a fresh start. That's the one. Oh, I reached the end of Amarang, baby. Let's go. I think that, if anything, is a perfect place to end this session here. Hopefully, the next time I stream, I'll have my voice back. No more congestion. And it'll all be good. That being said, thanks to anyone who decided to tune in. Thanks, Dylan, once again for keeping me company. I truly, truly appreciate it. This is episode 54? 54 of On the Dawn Trail. Almost done with Amarang and gonna kill that Light Warden. To whoever you may be, good morning, good night, and everything in between. Until next time, see ya!